Hey, you're tuned in to Queen TV. Greetings and welcome back to Queen TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. As I mentioned on last week's episode, I will have some guests on the show. And that's because I have a new segment called Kingdom Connections. And that's where I will be interviewing Kingdom women and men so they get can get connected with you all who are different business owners, entrepreneurs, or may have their own ministry. Um, this segment is so um, important to me because we're doing kingdom business and I want kingdom to support kingdom. Um, like I said in several episodes, we all can win. So whatever it is that you're doing, I want to support you as long as it glorifies God. Um, so let's get right into the episode. Um, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I love dialogue and we can talk about it in the comment section below. Let's check it out. I am sitting with founder, CEO, owner of Made for More Christian Apparel, Miss Perpetual. Hey, Pep Chris. So I'm going to actually let Pep kind of start the, the interview off with just telling us um, what was her purpose behind starting Made for More Christian Apparel. Okay, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> hey, you guys. So, Made for More was basically birthed through my love for graphic tees. And um, it encourages people from different walks in life to just embrace their God-given purpose. Um, we have our own plans. We do our own thing from time to time. I know I do. Um, and this just, the t-shirts just encourage you to embrace the purpose that God has given you. And so, walk in it. Um, I think the scripture that backs it up um, supports it really well. And it's many are the plans in a man's mind, but it's the purpose of the Lord that will prevail. Um, and I think that's says a lot in itself. You are made for more. You're created for a purpose. And so we just want to encourage that. Amen. Through t-shirts. Through t-shirts. And they're nice. She has on one right now currently. Uh, one of my faves. <laughs> God goes grind. And she's pretty. I'm and gonna, she's I'm pretty. I'm going to show y'all the and she's pretty. Oh, and she's pretty. Um, <laughs> us. What challenges do you face as a Christian entrepreneur? Oh my God. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges that I face as a Christian entrepreneur is Reading myself of the distractions. There's always somebody who's telling you, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should put this on a shirt. Oh, you should do this with your business. Um, because a lot of other brands are doing this and so forth. Um, so just staying focused and not kind of derailing from what God has created, made for more to do. So sticking to that, that's one of the toughest things because it looks good. Um, and you see other brands that are blowing up really big. Um, so just stay focused on what God created me for more to do. It's, that's a challenge. That is so true. Um, I received a phone call after I did one of the episodes um, on constructive criticism. Mm. And they were giving me constructive criticism, but it was like, but this is the purpose of my channel. My channel is to encourage kingdom women, and hopefully they encourage other women and they become kingdom women. Um, and she was just like, I think you need to go deeper. You need to explain more. You need to talk about this because some people not there yet. And I was like, I'll take that into consideration. You, you know? would be surprised yeah. at everything that I hear. You should do this because I see that they're doing this. And I'm like, well, if I get, once you get done stripping everything away, you're not even. What you said. You're not done for what you set out to do mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, I agree. What advice would you give someone who is trying to start, um, a Christian apparel or was trying to start any business, um, what advice would you give them? I think going back to what I just said, sticking to what God created you for, um, the money will come, the the fame will come for, um, it'll blow up in due time, but stick to what God created you for. So if you're centering around the purpose, then it can't fail. If you're doing it for God, it can't fail. Um, so just sticking to that. Okay. And the last question, of course, I got to tie with um, Kingdom Women effortlessly embracing nobility. How do you feel you are effortlessly embracing your nobility? Um, Y'all laughed at this question. I was like, oh, how am I? <laughs> um, but I love it. Um, I want to say that it's a, it's a daily process. Um, I'm growing daily. Um, I'm learning daily. Um, I'm learning about um, how to be noble and how to walk in integrity. And even with the business aspect, I feel like that I, I do follow-ups. I do different things to make sure that my business is noble. Um, so I do think that it's a learning process and that I'm just growing daily to make sure that I am meeting that standard that um, has been set by Christ. 
Amen. Thank you, Pip. Um, just tell them how they could follow you, how they can get shirts, how they could support you in your business. You can tell them now. Yay. So, you guys, um, if you do have a moment, go follow May, the number four, more Christian apparel on Facebook. On Instagram, it's at May, the number four, more underscore Christian apparel. Follow us on um IG, like us on Facebook. We do giveaways and everything. If you just want to be a blessing to the business, do email me at imakeformore.com. We have big things coming up, and I do want to add you to our mailing list. So be sure to just stop by any of those pages. Thank you. Please connect with her. She is um, an awesome woman of God, and I support her. Yay. Um, so thank y'all. Thank you, Phil. Thank y'all. Um, we are here with another Kingdom Woman. This is owner of Jen Franks Photography. This is Jen Franks. Hi. I'm going to allow Jen Franks to tell <laughs> us exactly what it is that she do. Um, so, <laughs> I am um, Jen Franks, as Quita just told you guys. I provide um, return tickets to moments otherwise lost. In other words, photography. Yeah, so okay. that's what I do. All right. And what was your purpose on starting Jane Frank's photography? I actually, it was kind of by accident, honestly. So um, I was doing art and I was cool. It was amazing, but I kind of felt like, um, how could I make this, you know, a lifestyle? How could I make this something that, you know, Okay, I could pay my bills with like for real. Um, because at the end of the day, let's be serious. Like most artists don't really get on to after they die, and I can't, I couldn't wait to do that. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking like, okay, God, what, what now? What, what am I gonna do? I um started taking pictures for my church for innovation, and it was a peace. It was a coolness. It was like, okay, um. I felt like I had some purpose in it. it. It was like, okay, this is where you're supposed to be. Every time I did it, I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of happened on accident. Which so was this, on purpose. Yeah, By accidentally accident on, on purpose. purpose. Yeah. God be knowing what he's doing. He be knowing. Um, and you're very good at what you do. You guys, I have so many pictures. I'm going to show y'all that she has taken of me and just every birthday, every moment that she said. She likes to capture the moments that would otherwise be lost if she hadn't taken them. Um, so I want you to um, tell us some of the, the struggles you deal with as a Christian who has a photography business, just the debates on should I shoot this, should I not shoot oh this, my God. all of it. <laughs> Give us, you know, some of the struggles you face. You know, being a photographer is being an art. Anything involving art is a very fine line. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like you could easily cross that line, and it's like, what is she doing? She what's over her? Um, the the hardest thing that I deal with is like, um, how people feel, and I have to really be intentional about talking to God because it's like, God, should I post these or how how are people gonna? What does this say about me? Um, as a Christian, as a business owner, what does it say about me? Can I just say, oh, well, I'm displaying my work? Oh, is is that it? Um, you know, it's, 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 you know, and I can easily say, well, you know, I don't, I don't care what people feel. I don't care what people say. But it's like, no, you do. Right. You do care what people feel. You do care what people say. You want, you want their business. Yeah. Um, so I think mostly, um, the struggles is, you know, the struggle is the feedback, the, you know, the group messages, mm -hmm. the, you know, the being, side pulled, text messages. being pulled to the side. Baby, I will pull up. <laughs> what was that? What, why did you post that? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that would definitely be it. Okay. That would definitely be it. Um, what advice would you give someone who is um, trying to start a photography business or um, any business in general? Uh, what advice would you give them? I would definitely say glean from others, learn from others. Um... I was watching the Queen TV the other day. We all can win. And um, when I was starting out in photography and I was trying to, you know, come up under other people and watch them and go to their shoots, it was just kind of like they would kind of give me, like, just enough. Or they didn't want me to know everything. So they'll kind of give me, um, oh, you know, you can do this, girl. And it was just kind of like, you're not giving me the real. Like, what, yeah. are you scared I'm going to take it? 
and take off or what he's gleaned from others be and once you get to where whatever you're doing don't be afraid to share mm -hmm. because your customers are your customers mine are mine it doesn't matter you cannot show me and i'm still gonna take off or you know you can show me everything and your business still thrives still does what it's gonna do regardless um so i would say glean i would say come up under people i would say ask questions write notes call people have you know do what you need to do have tough conversations ask people for money yeah ask people for money <laughs> for real like you need it <laughs> um you need it to make money so um definitely yeah do that amen mm -hmm. amen yes support every we all can win like definitely like she said use what you have share that information that person gonna share that information and you don't have to hold it like what's the purpose of holding it you you learning from other people to give to somebody else exactly. um yeah it's over seven billion people in the world everybody can win if she starts a photography business you can start one too you can start a youtube channel you can start a, a christian apparel line it's it's more than enough people to win so and here's another thing too it doesn't take anything away from you and by helping someone else it doesn't take you don't diminish you don't anything exactly if anything, I feel like it makes you greater because you're saying, hey, I don't mind. Here's everything. Do you need anything else? Yep. And when and when you give something to that person, they're going to remember and they're going to say, oh, girl, where you learning from? Oh, this person taught me that. And now you're even helping more people that you don't even have contact with. Exactly. Um, but and like I said in the last episode, it takes something away from you when you don't do it, when you don't support, when you don't show, um, you know, love and those compliments and giving to an organization it takes something away from you believe it or not um people see it people notice it and it's not cute be pretty not pity mm. okay <laughs> uh, okay um so last question i'm, I'm enjoying this this is kind of cool <laughs> kingdom of connections come through so how do you feel and i'm i just want you to know i'm so proud of you I'm Thank so you. proud of you. Like, it's it's crazy. How do you feel that you are effortlessly embracing your nobility? By growing. um, By growing and not afraid to share my growth. Um, It makes me feel so good when people come up to me and they're like, oh, my God, Jane, I remember when you were, um, what what was my first one? Player. Um, <laughs> when I was player Jane and I had photogenic when I first started and it flopped. And people were like, oh, my God, I remember back then when I was borrowing a camera. Oh, my God, my growth. Like, even, and, and I didn't even see it because sometimes you're just going, you're going, you're going, and you don't acknowledge, you know, where you came from. I'm just going, I'm just doing shoes, doing shoes. And I'm not acknowledging, like, oh, my God, how much I've changed, how much my editing has reached another level, how much I've, you know, just everything, like, Accepting my growth, listening to people. What's up? How did you feel about this shoot? Mm -hmm. to come to Quita, Quita. What's up with these? I don't know. Like, yeah. talk to me. Tell me. Tell me how does this look? How does this come off? And maybe a year ago, I wouldn't have done it. I would have just posted and been like, "Well, oh well, I don't care how how people feel about it." Being growing in business and knowing it matters. Everything matters. When people message me back and they're like, "Oh, I didn't really like my photos." A year ago, I thought I was the stuff. What you mean you didn't like them? <laughs> oh, well. Well, now it's no. Okay, well, tell me what I can do better. Yeah. Just growing. Just being able to have tough conversations. Being able to receive criticism. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. 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 So, yeah. Y'all watch Queen TV. Criticism is a compliment. When it somebody wants to invest in you, you better take it. Uh, show, tell them how you, they can support you and how they can follow you. You can follow me. I'm Jen Franks on everything. <laughs> so that's G-E-N-N -N Franks, F-R-A-N-K-S, Franks. Um, I'm Jen Franks on Facebook. I'm Jen Franks on Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere. So that's how you can follow you me. You know how to find her. Mm -hmm. Book some shoots. Listen. She got you. Janice, can you just tell us a little bit about uh, JP Hair Care and Pink Essentials and the entire brand? And what it is that you do? Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist first. Um, and JP Hair Care is um, a brand. Um, the name that I chose for my salon, and it comes from, well, at first it was my first and last name. Janice Pepper is my main name before I got married. But um, 
when I transitioned over to Reed, I decided to keep it JP Hair Care because I had a cousin who um was my partner mm -hmm. in doing hair with me, but she was um, killed by her boyfriend. So it's Janice, and the P now stands for Pinky. Mm -hmm. So I kept it JP Hair Care. So that's where the name comes from. And we also have a hairline, Pinky Essentials, that we just launched in January of this year. Um, and I'm proud of that. And... I thank God for pushing me to do so and my pastor um, motivating us to step out on faith and just do some of the things that we've been wanting to do but holding back to do out of fear. I'm glad you said that it was challenging because that's actually the next question. Okay. Um, what are some of the challenges you faced as being a Christian entrepreneur? You run a business and I know you have dozen and a lot of women in and out and I know conversations are just, ooh, how do you, you know, deal with those challenges um most definitely you do have a uh, women that you encounter that comes from all walks of life but even before i was rededicating my life to christ and get saved i always been an encourager and a motivator like when people come and um they tell you everything you know you, you you're a counselor too at the salon so they tell you everything i always been encouraging um, to the women and trying to steer them in a positive light instead of always dwelling on the negative. Mm -hmm. And the challenges that I do sometimes face are just being feeling, um, just feeling defeated, just feeling like it's too much, just feeling like it's overwhelming. And I have to take a step back sometimes and first pray um, and ask God for strength and to remind myself that so. To one that much is given, much is required. Yeah. So I tell myself that every day when I'm want to throw in the towel, when I'm saying this is too much, I can't do it. But I have to think about he wouldn't have brought me this far if he couldn't have kept me mm -hmm. and continued to bless me and continue to keep me. What advice would you give someone who wants to start um, their own salon or their own hairline or makeup line or whatever? business or ministry they want to start what advice would you give them to believe in yourself and no one else does and it's easier said than done mm -hmm. um for most people it, by me saying it i'm like okay believe in yourself but you also have things that the enemy talking in your yeah. mind and you don't know it's the enemy because it's yourself speaking to yourself it's not someone else's voice it's your voice so i would just most definitely say um to pray to god and, and first seek him and ask, ask him first if this something if this is something that is for you is this your purpose is this your calling and most definitely never give up. I always stay consistent in whatever business it is, whether it's hair, whether it's um, Christian apparel, mm -hmm. whether it's photo, whether it's whatever. Whatever <laughs> it is that you do. All these women that have different business and different walks, you most definitely have to stay consistent. People look for consistency. Yeah. So if you off this week and on this week, off this week and on this week, they're not going to take you serious. Yeah. Like Pastor Mary said, you're a character. Like, you're yeah. a character. So, <laughs> if you're consistent, I would most definitely say um, be consistent with your business. And if you are there, if you are consistent, um, it'll take you a long way. How do you feel you are effortlessly embracing your nobility? <sighs> I just, I wasn't just out wild and out, but I did things without caring. I mean, I smoked weed before, and I feel like, okay. Um, I'm not doing anything wrong because I go to work. I don't bother anybody. I'm just, you know, I go home and I'm chilling, mm -hmm. you know, so I feel like, okay, you know, this is not bad. I'm not, you know, this not a scene like everybody yeah. else. She, she twerking or she a stripper or, you know, so how yeah. people are just, so, certain women are just out there. So I just feel like the little small things like the cussing every day, all day, which I still fall short in that area, but... It's um something that I work on daily. I'm acknowledging it now. I'm mm -hmm. working towards the end. I can really say um embracing uh, a woman, embracing my nobility by living for him and putting everything that I do, I think about what would Jesus do. Anything with dealing with character or uh, connecting with other women, I'm always trying to put him first instead of the negative, instead of the pop offish attitude, instead of the rolling of eyes and yeah. just it's just all of this stuff. I feel like I'm embracing my nobility by 
putting him first and living for him in my business, in my personal life, um, checking and stopping people when I feel like they're crossing the line or coming too far into my lane, which uh, is causing me to, you know, trickle back into the ways that I'm trying to cut. Mm -hmm. So I just try to just live for him. Amen. So let the people know how they could support you, um, follow you. Um, just tell them. All right. So I have a Facebook page. Um, my business page is JP Hair Care, um, where you can go and see styles and um, hair products that I have for hair. And also, I will be posting up more. And I also have on um, Instagram. Um, Pink Essentials by JP Hair Care, and there's also the business page where you can see styles and also hair and um, different products that I may have, and also my personal page. But this is just me. <laughs> it might not be to your liking, but if you want to follow me on my personal page, that is Janice Reed. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you agreed to connect with us, Kingdom Women, and me. I hope you enjoyed that episode. He's sure to connect with them. Go like their page, follow them, subscribe, support, purchase some items, book some shoes, get your hair done, buy some hair, um, and just support these kingdom women. Um, I am so proud of all three of them. And um, be on the lookout for the next Kingdom Connections. Or maybe you could send me an email and we can get connected and I can have you next on the show. So as always, I love you. Christ love you. So kingdom women and men effortlessly embrace your abilities. See you Monday. Tell them anything. He'll tell you everything. No competition